This might be the best smartphone on the market. Let's have a look. Dave Taylor here, and I'm looking at this. This is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, and it is gorgeous. It's a beautiful smartphone. And as you can see, it's a big, vivid screen, 6.4 inches, 514 pixels per inch, super AMOLED screen, running 2916 by 1440 with Gorilla Glass 5. So I'm pretty sure that means that a gorilla can use this phone. Not sure, don't mean to offend any animal activists. <laughs> Gotta be careful nowadays, right? But here's one really cool thing you can do is it's USB-C, which I like. You can plug in a USB-C to HDMI adapter and plug this into a television and boom, you've got a you know, um, 1080p HD TV running off of your phone. Looks gorgeous. You can do everything, including take phone calls while it's plugged in. How cool is that? Now, the CPU underneath this, and I will let you see the screen, the CPU inside here is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845, running at 2.7 gigahertz, octa-core with six gig of RAM, and you can get it with 128 gig or 512 gig of storage, but that's not all because the SIM card slot also supports a micro SD card, and Samsung says it'll support up to a two terabyte micro SD card. Now, I don't know where you get a two terabyte micro SD card or how much it would cost, but that's a lot of storage to have on your phone. Jeez. Now, it's running Android 8.1 Oreo, so, you know, we'll see as that evolves, and Samsung Experience 9.5, so it's not exactly straight um, Android, but Samsung's done a really nice job of putting some things on top of it. Now, the phone also supports fingerprint and iris scanning, so I just unlocked it by looking at it, just like an iPhone 10, right? Um, and it also has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery and Qi fast charging, I love the wireless charging, and it's the fast charge, so it's only a couple hours to go for a full charge. And 4,000 milliamp hours, it's like, finally Samsung got over all the angst around its exploding batteries on earlier generations. And so this is a nice big battery that should give you an entire dawn till midnight run on your phone, which is great. Now, the whole thing is only 8.8 .8 millimeters thick, and it's 200 grams, so it's not quite as light as maybe you expect, but seriously, 200 grams, it's not like this is a big heavy clunker. This is a really nice phone, and there's so much going on, not the least of which is that there is a stylus. This is so cool. We're going to come back to this. This is called the S Pen. We'll come back to it in a minute. Okay, be quiet. Jeez keeps trying to turn on Bixby, one of my least favorite features of any Samsung phone. It's another story. Now, let's talk about cameras, because there's so much for me to share with you on the cameras. So, the rear-facing camera, it's actually two cameras, and it's 12 megapixels. One is an f1.5, the other one is an f2.4, and then the forward-facing camera is an 8 megapixel at f1.7. Now, here's what's cool, is Samsung has this AI-powered thing called Scene Optimizer, and it gives you all sorts of really good smarts in terms of adjusting and tweaking the pictures. So let's have some examples here. First off, here's a photo of my cat, and we did a little color enhancing in the gallery editor, so it gives it a little pop. And now this second example is a barn just down the street from me, actually, and you can see the colors are just stunning. That is an unaltered, unadjusted, hashtag no filter photo. Now, let's talk about video too, because this does crazy good with video because it supports UHD or ultra high def at 3840 by 2160 at 20, I'm sorry, at 60 frames per second. That's really cool. But where you really get that is, let's have a couple of examples. This first one is, and I'm hand holding, so it's not quite as steady as it could be, but this is just a stream up the street for me. And you can see it's just beautiful. I mean, this is like, you know, Zen meditation on your TV level video. But there's more fun. So let's look at hyperlapse. And this is me driving down the road. And you can see um, <laughs> it's really hard to hold the camera while you're driving. Do not recommend this. 
<laughs> but it's really fun. And then super slow-mo. And this is something Samsung's really been experimenting with on this particular device. And they actually had a software update after they shipped this particular Note 9 on its very first generation. And so this is the new improved super slow-mo. It's pretty fun. So again, none of these I have altered. There's no color adjustments. I haven't done any editing in the video editor. All I did was import this footage and show it to you. Now, so nice, really, you know, so much to love about this. But let's get back to that S Pen because this S Pen, whoops, which fell, <laughs> the S Pen is so cool because it does a lot. In addition to letting you do artwork and you can see it automatically brings up this range of different apps you can launch. But in addition for you doing sketch on screen, it also lets you use it as a clicker for presentations. You can use it as a remote trigger for your camera, which is really nice. You can even control music playback and video playback with it. But it's really with sketching and art that I think it's the most fun. And my daughters both adore this phone because of the art they can do. And here's a couple of examples of what they've done with just a few minutes of poking around and exploring the Note app really pretty straightforward and beautiful art really really fun now as i said the phone also features what uh, samsung calls their Knox security and has both a fingerprint located right smack dab in the middle of the back which is nice and iris scanner so in effect when you unlock the phone all you have to do is glance at it and boom it's unlocked if someone else wants to unlock it they're going to need to have a code or a password or whatever so that's really nice so let me give you now that we've come this far let's give you a quick tour of the different edges here because on the right edge you have the power button that's just the regular old on off and then on the bottom you have the space for the S Pen assuming you do not fling it onto the floor like me you have a speaker space you actually have one um, only on the um, bottom actually and the USB-C connector for charging if you're not going to use wireless charging and let the heavenly choir sing an actual headphone jack so samsung even with the latest and greatest is still giving you a headphone jack thank you samsung that's really nice of you <laughs> on the left side you have the bixby or shortcut button and the volume up and down and on the top you really it's pretty much the only thing that you have there of any note is the sim card slot on the back you have the two cameras and the flash and all of that and then underneath it you have the fingerprint scanner and of course on the front you have this absolutely gorgeous screen if it will unlock for me and there we go so it's unlocked and I just want to say that I have an iPhone 10 and I really like my iPhone 10 but this is the first other device I've used where my iPhone 10 feels a little bit old. So there's a lot I really like about this. And um, let's just look at, if nothing else, let's just look at screen size. I mean, obviously the Note is not exactly intended to be the same size, but if we put them both here, you can see significantly bigger screen, but more importantly, it's a brighter, more vivid screen. And because they did the edge style where the screen sort of goes off the sides, it really is a full screen view and it's quite extraordinary. It's a beautiful screen and they, it's just a really nice phone. You know, if you're happy with Android, if you like Oreo, if you're a fan of Samsung and you like the Samsung experience, this is a heck of a phone and that big screen, you'll never complain your screen is too big and everything you do from reading in a Kindle app to watching videos on Netflix to doing all your own stuff is all going to just be fantastic. Big, big fan. Really very little not to like about this Galaxy Note 9. So only thing left to talk about is the price. But before we get to the price, let me ask if you can click on that subscribe button. Really appreciate that. Now, the price. Well, actually, before we get to the price, let's talk about color schemes. So this is blue with the mysteriously vanishing yellow S Pen. <laughs> it didn't vanish. It's just on the floor. So this is the, what they call ocean blue with the yellow S Pen. But you can also get it in black with a black pen 
or purple with a purple pen, or copper with a copper pen. So you can mix and match, I think. You could also buy a second S Pen, but the S Pen's a little more sophisticated than you might think because it actually has its own battery and multiple buttons, so it's gonna be a fairly spendy add-on if you wanna buy a second one, and don't lose it. Man, you really don't wanna lose one of these because it's gonna be, as I said, probably fairly spendy. But the phone itself is actually surprisingly not out of control expensive. It is actually less expensive than the iPhone 10 at $999.99 at AT&T.com, which means you can also use AT&T's payment plans, and that gets it down to a very modest $33.34 a month for you to have the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 in your hands. This is Dave Taylor. And I'm really tempted to keep this and not send it back to AT&T. Sorry guys, it's a really nice phone. So I'll figure that out while I work on the next thing. So I will catch you in my next video.